Hey, what's up everybody? Simon here, back with another haul of books that I got from the weekend and the last couple days. Um, so I I don't have a huge graphic novel collection. I got maybe a, a dozen, I think, uh, graphic novels and uh, mostly the Marvel graphic novels. Um, but I just happened to walk by the stack one day and I thought, eh, let me pull one book out and see what it is. And it's just funny because it was this, this Negan cover book. Um, and if anybody watched the show this weekend, you know, I'm sure, well, it was an awesome episode for one, but I'm sure everybody's really uh, just excited about this upcoming event. Uh, well, not event, but the uh, the storyline, the story that's coming, you know, with Negan and everything. So we'll see what they do. Like, I don't have very many Walking Dead. I have like four Walking Dead books. So I haven't really read any except number 100 and that was just like crazy man like it just really blew me away that that 100 uh issue and um like I don't I didn't I haven't watched I've watched like half of the first season and I think some of the second then I skipped all the way up to last season and and this so I really love this show Walking Dead and uh so I thought it was just funny. I just watched the episode like uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. I had it uh, PVR'd, and so I watched it, and it was an awesome episode. But I just thought it was just fitting that I would just for some reason pull this book out, this uh, official magazine. So just thought I'd show that anyway. It's kind of cool. It just happens to be like the comic cover of this this magazine. So there's that. Um, and let's see here what else do i got um i know i said i wouldn't pick any more of these any new books up but i just couldn't help and grab these uh harley quinns i grabbed a couple issues because from what i understand they're like selling out everywhere and they're hard to find and they're such awesome covers i mean neil adams they're just really awesome covers these, so I just picked those up and and I and uh, I've been uh, grabbing like the Harley Quinns since it came out uh, from this volume anyway, and they're just I really love these uh, this series, so there's those. Glad to find those uh, in such nice condition too because I grabbed a uh, Neil Adams uh, the Detective Forty Nine last week and. It was hard to find a nice condition. Well, it was hard to find it anywhere, but I was glad to find uh, some nice conditions of those. Um, so I went to, let's see here. I went back to the convenience store where I get, uh, that I recently found. This convenience store, this guy's selling books. Like, I guess he has a big collection and he has mostly 90s stuff, but. I don't know if anybody's seen my last video, my last few videos, but he, I got it some, just a crazy find there. I found a New Mutants uh, 98 there for four bucks, so, you know, I keep going back and I keep uh, looking around to find, you know, what else did he miss, because this guy who I'm um, selling, he's pricing his books, like, he is pricing his keys, you know, according, accordingly and everything. He's got wall books and stuff, but... Oh, there goes my furnace. Of course, my furnace, uh, it's going to be uh, clicking on and off here through this video. But, but yeah, he, um, like, there's a bunch of books there I want, but he just, he's got, like, the first appearance of Bishop. Um, and he's selling it for 10 bucks, and it's, it's not even, like, a high-grade copy or anything. And so he does know, he, like, he knows the keys, and but he, I guess he just missed that 98, and I'm just trying to find find some other stuff that he missed but I can't really find anything um and I'm trying to catch him when he's in because this is a convenience store and there's worker, different workers there every day so I found out he works there till uh two every two o'clock every day um but another guy was there and I know that he can get a hold of the guy who's uh who owns the collection and he just texts, texts him all the time so I just asked him you know I said 
Uh, can you ask him if he has any new mutant stuff? You know, maybe from number from eighty to one hundred or something. So I'll see if I can. Like I'll see if I can snag something off him. Maybe he's I know because I know he's got a lot of. I heard he has a lot of doubles. So if he missed a new mutants ninety eight, I mean, maybe he'll miss his double if he has a double. Or I'm hoping for an eighty seven or something. But I asked uh, I asked the guy who's working to text the guy. And uh, I asked for the, the New Mutant stuff, and I asked him uh, if he had any Batman stuff. So we texted him, and uh, just like, you know, two or three minutes later, he texts back, and the guy walks in the back room, and he comes up with two Batman boxes full of ba Batman stuff. Um, nothing really special in there. I just found these, and yeah, that's it as far as Batman stuff. I mean, oh, sorry, no, it's not it. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I found a pretty nice key, actually. Um, but there's those. I mean, you know, the Anarchy. I just bought it because I figured I'd read it. You know, for that price, it's if he's charging cover price or whatever. Or not cover price, like a little bit cheaper anyway. But a lot, I notice a lot of books he is charging cover price. So it's kind of if the guy's there, I'm just gonna ask him to knock a few bucks off when I start buying books because I've been buying a lot off them. So hopefully uh, he'll... I'm sure he'll give me some kind of discount after a while. But I did grab some more off of his racks and stuff and... I grabbed that. He's got a lot of combo packs there. See, it's not really that great of a deal, but... Um, what else do we have? I found one of these... For a few bucks. So. Grab that. Um, he's got a few more variants. But I don't think I'm going to grab any more of these. I just figured I don't grab too many of the Star Wars variants. So. I thought I'd pick it up. It wasn't that. It was a little bit cheaper than cover price. So. Pick that up. He had. Uh got a lot of 50 cent books there and mostly 90 stuff so I just thought I'd pick that up it was an Adam Hughes cover I didn't even know Adam Hughes did sensational She-Hulk so it is the beginning of a, of a new storyline it looks like to to live to die and live in LA so I thought I'd pick that one of six kinda cool uh, Adam Hughes cover there and the Shadowhawk it's not really anything I guess but I like I guess it's a I think it's a red foil cover. I guess it's worth a little bit more than the uh just the original number 1, the first number 1, so I was surprised to find that out. I mean, it's just a 50 cent book, so I didn't mind picking that up. It'd be something I might check out, might read. And he had these. I've been always meaning to grab these every time I go there, but wasn't really much uh actually these are five dollar books well that one's a five dollar book so there were three bucks a piece so that's now notice that so it's got a little bit off cover price i guess that's uh like there's a bunch of number ones in this spider verse i guess first appearance of it's it's saying first appearance of spider-man and just a ton of other people i guess it's the first appearance in spider verse is that what it means i'll have to read it or something so, pretty cool covers, too. I mean, for cheaper than cover price, I'll pick them up. They're nice condition books. He does have a lot of uh, Amazing Spider-Man there, like, in the 600s. So, I'll check those out. Um, here's another detective. Um, I just, it's a pretty cool jock cover. So I just picked that up. I think that was that. That was actually a two dollar book, so it's a good enough price for me to pick up. Eight hundredth issue. So um, when he grabbed the Batman box, I thought there was more Batman here that I got out of that Batman box. I mean, sorry, there was two boxes, but a lot of them weren't priced, and uh, and so I was kind of worried because the price is kind of high. But I picked four books out of there. 
I, I kind of got these mixed up. Maybe that's one of them, the detective. Yeah, I swear there was a few more Batmans, but... I guess the detective... And the anarchy were in there, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, here's... Uh, so I picked uh, three, uh, four Batman books out of there, and um, he... And the guy working, he said, uh, so I said, what about the ones that aren't pricey? And he said, the guy working said that, uh, he said that, um, just leave them here and, and come back or whatever, and he'll have them priced when he come back. So I thought, oh, shit. Like, after I seen this book, you know, I seen this book, and it did not have a price on it, so... I was kind of worried, and like you see in the top corner on the logo here, it's it's actually, I don't know if it's got some kind of water damage or what, but it's, and it's like, I don't know what happened to it, but it's not great condition at all, but I'm just really, really happy to grab it because it's so, so hard to find. It's a really nice reader copy anyway on the inside and everything, so, and the rest of the cover's nice, so. He, so I grabbed four books out of there, and they didn't have prices on them. He texts the guy, and the guy, and I was just checking out, because I had, from the other books, I bought some other ones, the Spider-Man and that, and and he checked his phone, he's like, oh, he texted me back, and uh, he said, oh, these are $1.50 a piece, so I was really super happy to buy that for a buck fifty. The Vengeance of Bane, first, uh, first print, too, so, you know, it's not a great copy, but... I'll definitely be looking for an upgrade on it, but I'm really happy to grab that nice reader copy of that for a buck fifty. Awesome. So, really happy to grab that. I'm gonna read that real soon. Um, okay, we I got these two from the same store from the convenience store. I went back and grabbed these last two copies of this Rye uh, trade. I guess it has uh, issues one to four. Um, I looked, like, according to the online price guide that I look at, these are supposed to be, like, uh, they're worth a little bit more than the first print. These blue covers, I guess the first print has black covers. These are the second second print blue covers. And uh, I looked on eBay, and I guess um, there's only two copies. i only seen two copies on eBay, and... They're charging like one guy's charging thirty eight bucks and then another guy's charging tw twenty nine, like with sixteen dollars shipping or something. So, and the guy has it uh, listed as uh, second print rare blue cover. So, I don't know how rare they are. I mean, I guess because it's Valiant, it's got like a lower print run or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I grabbed. Uh, from the same store, I grabbed this, like when I, before I found the new mutants, I went to this, this convenience store one time, and uh, I that was my first pickup from this convenience store. I've been there like, probably seven or eight times now, so, I've got a, quite a few good books out of there, and so, I got three of these anyway, they're four bucks a piece, so. I guess they're worth like 20 bucks or something. Like, who knows? I don't know. I don't know if they're even worth that. Like, I don't know if anybody's buying these or what, but, you know, I pick them up. They're in their original poly bags. Kind of cool. I really want to read one, but I don't really want to crack these poly bags. I mean, they're just such awesome condition. All these books, these three. So, anyway, there's those. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but happy to grab those for that price. Um, and uh, I do, I buy a lot of books from this buy and sell store. And I just happened to be cruising around one day and I found, and I know there's two locations of this buy and sell store in my area. But I happened to be uh, cruising around and I found a third location. They didn't have very many books. They just got maybe like... Uh, I don't know, they don't have bins, they're like in uh, some kind of shelving unit things, but 
They only had like four rows of books, mostly new stuff. Somebody really cherry picked the hell out of them. Like there's no number of ones. There's like full runs of books, but no number of ones. So I just got a bunch of back issue stuff. A couple of uh, Deadpool covers here. So at least uh, that's the start of uh, the road trip. The Thunderbolts is a start of a new story. So I'll probably check that out and read it. So nothing's really too special there, but thought I'd show those. And they had was one copy of this uh, Mr. Bloom. First Mr. Bloom. There's a Harley Quinn. I actually didn't have number 19. I don't know why I missed that one. There's I got Spider Gwen number one, so I just had a number two there. That's the only Spider Gwen they had. I've been picking up a lot of all new Captain America for some reason. Just read the two uh, issues I had. I got uh, last week. I got an all new Captain America number one for like seventy cents, and I got a Captain Amer all new Captain America and Avengers for the same price. So figured I'd grab that too. Oh, and these were a dollar fifty. It's funny because the store, these two stores, the first two locations of the buy and sell stores, they charge. Uh, like they're they're kind of different all over. They're like two ninety nine price, but if you buy one, you get one half off, and then you buy more, you get six bucks for ten bucks, or twenty five bucks for a buck, or if you buy fifty or more, it's seventy five cents. So, but these were a dollar fifty, and that was just their straight pricing. And I found this Fantastic Four last issue, I guess of the I guess that's the first volume. So it's a pretty nice thick book, a six dollar book. I mean for a buck fifty. Nice condition, everything. I'll definitely check that out. Six forty-five. Pretty cool. So there's those, and what else? Um, yeah. So yeah, I just stopped in. Uh, oh yeah, I stopped in. A hey, uh, I keep finding these. Even though they got like a rolled spine or whatever, they're just really nice condition books. That I found another first uh, appearance of Anarchy there uh, at, at a flea market. I just stopped in my flea market, my local flea market. I'm really lucky because uh, there's a flea market just like 15 minutes away, and they're open all week, all week till five o'clock. So, and the good thing is I found uh, there's new vendors in there, and some of them there's a lot of new books in there I found yesterday. So. There's this uh, this one huge book. It's like a Marvel treasury size. I think it's a, bigger than a treasury, but it's it's called the official Marvel tryout. And I want to pick it up, but he's charging thirty eight bucks. And there's actually a big stack of Fantastic Four Silver Age there, and they're pretty ratty. But he's charging eighteen bucks a piece for them. So I think I'm gonna make some kind of an offer and try and get them all in one shot. I'm gonna just make an offer of sixty bucks or something maybe. So hopefully I can get those, but that that huge book, that Marvel tryout book, it's like huge, and it's just a beautiful condition book. It's just I never seen like one of those huge books in such awesome condition. It's like brand new. It's near mint. It's got to be near mint. So I guess that's why it's charging thirty eight bucks. But I guess I'll make an offer on it because it's a really nice book. So there's that. That's the only thing I grabbed from the flea market, and I went to. Toronto, um, I got, I was, um, I'm on this, on Facebook there's a group called, uh, Comic Book Collectors, and somebody made a post, took a, made a post of a picture, and from this store in Toronto, this bookstore, it's a four-story bookstore, and the very top is all comic books, it's like crazy, it's like my favorite place to go, and so, I seen that picture, and, uh, you know, I made a comment or whatever, and so I get uh, notifications when other people are making comments, and a lot of people are just talking about it, you know, and so the more I kept looking at that picture, the more it made me want to go there, and I love that store. I really love it. So I went there, and I know they got so many freaking keys there. It's unbelievable. I should have took a picture myself, but they got some awesome keys, and I walked up walked up to that fourth floor, and uh, 
and uh, there was a big sign there, twenty percent off back issues. So I didn't really go crazy because I'm going away this weekend. Uh, I'm going away with my girlfriend to uh, stay at a nice casino in Niagara Falls, and so I'm just trying to save a little bit of cash. But otherwise, I would have been crazy on some back issues on some wall books. But I picked up uh, three books from there, and uh, I found this. It was priced at I think what was it? Nine. No, it was priced at ten bucks. So, oh, it was priced at ten bucks. I guess it's the first rye. Um, so I grabbed it. For, so well, you know, with twenty percent off, it's eight bucks. So, uh, who did I see? Somebody just showed this. this was a Y eighty five. Just showed this. I know I've seen it in a few videos, but the most recent one I've seen was Y85 showed this. So, that's what I thought of right away when I seen it, but I would have grabbed it anyway, I mean, for eight bucks. Here's a really, really nice copy. I would have never grabbed this um, otherwise, but with the 20% off, this is just a beautiful copy of that. Just near mint for sure. of that uh, anniversary issue so yeah I grabbed those um yeah this is a beautiful book I mean I don't even know if I want to do this because this thing's never focused but look how square that is that's awesome look at that that's nice Yep. So, awesome. And uh, what was that? I think it was priced. No, yeah, it was fourteen ninety nine. That book and this book were priced at fourteen ninety nine. And this book also is just a beautiful condition book, except for the. Oh. Come on. Except for that uh, stamp there, the Gen Twenty First stamp, but. I mean, I don't even care about that. I don't know if it really takes any value off it or whatever, but... I didn't get to rebag that. I'm going to put it in a Marilar too soon, but... Yeah. Pick that up, I mean, for whatever... What is that, three bucks off? So... It's a really beautiful conditioned book, so... For sure, that's awesome. But, hopefully... Actually, I'm going back there, too, this weekend. I'm going back to Toronto this weekend... So hopefully I'll have some extra cash. Hopefully I'll win some at the casino. <laughs> but every mostly everybody knows how that goes. Mostly donations at the casino. But if I win something big, I'll buy something big, you know. So that's my haul this week. And that went pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope everybody else finds some good stuff this week. And hope everybody's doing well. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Okay. Bye.